So I've been looking around in the Yu-Gi-Oh community for a while, and I've been um, a lurker, just to say the very least. I'm I'm not just, you know, making content out here. I'm watching it sometimes, too. And when I look look out here at this content, I don't really see um, <laughs> like like too much stuff to really talk about on a daily basis, honestly. So this might be like a weekly thing, but we'll just kind of see how that goes. But when I look out here on the landscape, just so happens there are some new and interesting things that I do want to talk about. So today we got Phantom Nightmare. That new set has just dropped and it's got a ton of new uh, cards in it and which is very interesting sounds really cool you got you bell voiceless voice aroma uh magic specter oh that, i'm pretty interested in that actually sinful spoils um snake eye goblin biker what's that i don't know and ashend I don't know what that is either. So a lot of this stuff is just all brand new stuff. I'm going to be just taking a look at some stuff. We're going to take a look at Konami's video. Um, it's, I mean, not Konami's video. It's actually, uh, well, I think it's Konami EU. I don't really know. I don't I don't know. I don't know everything. But it's like Konami EU. And basically in, in, in this video, it's just their intro. We're going to check that out later. But I want to really talk about something before I jump into that. Because as I'm looking at this list, one of the cards that put that, uh, that stuck out that made me um, even have the idea to even make this video is that I saw that sinful spoils card in there and it reminded me about like the bonfire situation. And I really wanted to talk about that because I think that situation is just stupid. I think it's just dumb. I just don't agree with anything about this argument on anybody's side and i'm gonna tell you why in one second but especially for that bonfire uh spell card it is just dumb because basically it's a card that searches like a very niche card and it yeah it does connect to a very powerful engine but to be very real i don't know how many of you are very active in the Yu-Gi-Oh full power game you might be a Duel Links fan you might be a Rush Duel fan you could just be a casual YT Dan fan just seeing what I'm talking about but this whole thing is like you can see like on um TCG player that basically this card is pretty expensive but I want to talk about why this card is expensive you know this card is expensive only for one reason only hype and fear of missing out and basically this card is like unproven like there are a lot of uh ocg techniques and um different decks and a whole bunch of different ways to to look at this situation and justify why you would pay such a price but i'm gonna tell you why this card price is so high okay these establishments these vendors these like like people who actually like make a living off this game, not the guy at your locals that just got a collection and be selling cards sometimes and doesn't have a job and says he's a vendor and be like struggling, not that guy, but the actual vendors set a price based off the hype. And where do they get the hype from? They get it from OCG and they get it from y'all, the word of mouth, like the people in the community hyping this card up because it's so powerful and people get out and they get these pre-orders out and the price is super sky high. And then just like any other card in any other set in any other meta, this game has been going on for 25 years and y'all ain't got it yet. They never live up to expectation and the price always drops. But the real reason why the price is so damn high it's because when that price drops <laughs> from 120 to one to one hundred dollars, which is I think is what is that right now, people buy it. But you know who's buying it? Absolute madmen. Too much money to care. Super serious duelists that gotta have a playset, and they're grown. 
you know, can afford the game. It's a children's card game. But most definitely, if the cards is being set by these market prices and people are buying them, then clearly people are buying them with me of means. But clearly, this is a card that you aren't required to play because it's not a tier zero format. There's like so many other decks you can play. But like, why? Like, that's my whole thing. Why? Because somebody like me who actually would want Bonfire so I can play my fire deck, you know, because I like fire decks. That's what I do. <laughs> I'm not buying that because I will I will be real. What what did, what would I spend a hundred dollars on on Yu-Gi-Oh card? I I spent the hundred bucks on SP Little Knight, and I don't know how much SP is right now. Actually, let me look that shit up. How much is SP right now? I'm gonna look it up real quick. Yeah, so, <laughs> so look, I paid a hundred bucks for SP Little Night or whatever it was when it first came out. Yeah, oh, so yeah, maybe like 80 or 90 bucks. I, I had more like, I bought it when it first came out. And you know why I bought that when it first came out? Because there's a huge difference. There's an ocean of difference between Bonfire and SP Little Night, okay? Bonfire is one deck one combo, one meta strategy. So who's buying that? People are buying that because they think it's going to be good. Only people buying that are people who think they're going to profit with that card. And what kind of profit? What am I talking about? I am talking about profit with cash. I bought it at 100 bucks. This is a $120 card. The price is gonna go back up as soon as the as soon as the deck is proven. That's their mindset. The guy who actually bought the card to play in the tournament, he's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna profit because when I buy this card, I'm gonna win with this card. And when I win with this card, not profit by selling OCG packs. I'm gonna profit from that dopamine. I'm gonna profit and have victory." victory that's what i bought it for because i want to have fun and his idea of fun is winning with a top tier strategy but if that strategy fails if that strategy fails or it's too good and it gets banned dump it the price goes down big time down so if that price goes down, you going to take the ultimate L and there's a huge risk on bonfire. So that's why this argument is stupid because the risk of the price dropping on bonfire is extremely high. But why I bought, I play one deck in real life. I play the Valance deck. My, my play the Valance deck in real life. We cook. With the Valance deck in real life. I'm not I'm so serious about this deck. Y'all don't understand. But I've got the SP. I've got SP Little Knight right here. Okay? SP Little Knight right here. Bought for 80 bucks or whatever I bought it for. 80 or 90. Because whenever it first dropped, I bought it immediately. Because why? It's an extra deck monster. That's always gonna be good as long as I got an extra deck. You know, Verte was good for a long time until it got banned. Why? Because it was an extra deck monster. There's a lot of value in your extra deck, which is why you spend the bread on it. But you don't spend the bread on a combo piece for a deck that can be power crept or banned or restricted. Because let's say you buy a place at a bonfire. You drop like 200 bucks. Let's say you couldn't get a good deal. You spent 300 bucks. And let's say the engine snake eye or whatever they find, or I don't know, let's say Blazing and Pachi gets, a, uh, gets another uh, errata 
uh, not that rider gets another uh, boost. You know, he gets a retrain. And and now this blazing Apache engine is disgusting because you can use Bonfire to search deck for blazing Apache's retrain, special summon it to search deck for a starter and an extender and send a deck from the graveyard and spit in your opponent's face because it does all that. Now Bonfire is banned or restricted to one emergency ban. Because that deck's too good. Blazing Apache Engine, too good. We did a oopsie. We didn't foresee that. Now you are holding this L. You're holding a bag. This is like, this literally like when you buy, <laughs> when people were buying those like fake, not fake, uh, when they were buying those uh, rug pool cryptos and those rug pool penny stocks, pump and dumps. That's what this is. Bonfire is a pump and dump. SP Little Knight is the investment because I can use SP Little Knight in my rogue deck, in my tier one deck, in my tier three deck, or as tissue because I have SP Little Knight and it's that good. Like SP Little Knight is great. It's an extra deck card. And I'm going to probably use it for years as long as I play. And for me, I have a proven track record of playing for years. I've been playing literally since the day started. I mean, the day started, the game started and been playing ever since then, all the way up through now, one way, shape or form, never stop playing the game. So an investment in something like this competitively one single copy not the collector's rare because i'm not that dude i'm not spending the 500 i'm not doing that but not to like just getting a regular one right off rip because you realize it's good because you're competitive and you realize the competitive viability not because i'm taking a risk on a pump and dump and everybody getting online and talking about this at nauseum is I understand the game. You got to make your video. You got to do what the algorithm says and the Google trends and all that. Even me talking about it right now is, is kind of playing into that too. But real talk. I mean, how many times do you got to hear, hey, guys, <laughs> bonfire is pretty expensive and cards should be cheaper for players. You know it's common in the OCG. Yo, hey, yo. How many times we got to listen to that? All right, <laughs> let's take a look at this. Uh, <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's take a look at this um, 25th anniversary uh, video here. Let's take a look at that. Hey, everyone. This is hey. Billy Brick. Welcome back and get ready for an exciting look into 2024's I'm pretty excited. Booster set. Here is Phantom Nightmare. Oh, my God. Honestly, you know, it's kind of funny, like seeing you bail back, you know, getting all powered up, getting retrained, new skills, new abilities. I personally, like, I, I will say this, okay, partially why I made that whole argument, SP, you know, when I, when I play a deck, when I get a deck. I'm, I'm got that deck for the long haul through thick and thin. That's how I like to play the game. SP's on the team. Like SP's on the team. She's gonna be on the team until she can't be on the team no more. <laughs> like she's gonna be on the team. But when I when I when I see you bail with these power ups, I, I'm I can't help but to think Konami, where is where's the hazy flame? Where where's the hazy flame update? I know that it is not canon. At the hazy flame and, and you bail our rivals, but I feel that in my soul. I'm getting PTSD right now. You don't understand if you wasn't a Duel Links player playing the best era of Duel Links ever with the hazy flame versus you bail. That was amazing. So I'm a so this is my desperate plea. This is my hundred dollar uh buy for Konami. I'll buy this instantly for a hundred dollars, Konami. If Konami drops 
a hazy flame starter monster that is a level four fire pyro. <laughs> and then gives us a level two extender. Konami. Konami, I'd make a miracle. Konami, I'd bring it back. I Konami. <laughs> Come, I need Konami just to do that. I pay a hundred bucks for both. And and guess what? The price of Bonfire was skyrocket. I'd I'd pay double. I'd pay it all to play my hazy flames. Competitively. Yes, I will gouge myself for the hazy flame. <laughs> if I were to choose one word to describe Phantom Nightmare, what would you say? Legacy. Huh? This core booster revisits the legacy of one of the most beloved booster sets of the GX era. Hmm. Breathes new life into a long line of light ritual monsters dating back to the light rituals. Days of dueling, and introduces a world premiere theme full of monsters that continue to defend their home, even though their physical bodies are long gone. The hell is he talking about? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anything he's talking about. I didn't, none of that sounds familiar to me. The only thing I understood that he said was GX. <laughs> I just spent all that time talking about. <laughs> I feel like he just listened to everything I said. I feel like I really. <laughs> okay, let's go. Thing of the set with the card that's number zero zero one in the set, and is aiming to be number zero zero one in your heart as well. Oh! Uh... Originally introduced in Phantom Darkness. <laughs> But the uh, 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 it's torturing my soul. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> we gotta okay. Let's, we're not gonna get through this. We gotta get back in here. Super polymerization was crucial to the character Evel's plan for Yu-Gi-Oh GX. It wasn't really part of the strategy based around the card Evel until now. They gave you Bell some sort of super poly engine or super poly synergy at the least. I am so Konami. You better put the hazy flame in there and it better be common and it better be cheap. It better be free to play Konami. Don't you play me. You'll also find new cards based on Bell's monsters from the Yu-Gi-Oh GX series. The original grinder golem may have been used grinder oh my god he looked like reggie gigas a few episodes later that this card was actually part of Ubel's deck what the original samsara lotus and spell chronicle wow got a lot of work wow spell chronicle spell chronicle <laughs> jesus christ remember these cards from <laughs> Novox's prayer <laughs> and Skull Guardian. <laughs> I yeah, actually I um I remember that meta. My best meta. My best meta. But these two and more are reborn as servants of the voiceless voice. Hmm. Defend low the prayers of the voiceless. Servants of the voiceless voice. So basically, they can possess cards that are not being used and turn them into other things. Okay. This voice while calling upon the power of light dragon and light warrior ritual monsters. Okay, that's kind of cool. Monsters on the side may look familiar. Actually, that's in time. These new cards greatly resemble Sephira and Thor. Yeah, I was just about to say that. Yeah. You might want to check your collection for these ritual monsters. They work well with this new theme. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, Konami's like, get ready to cook, boys. Guardian, protector of the voiceless voice. Okay. Low. 
while low is on your field or in your graveyard. Get low on the field. Skull Guardian's attack points rise all the way. See, this is the hazy flame support I need. That's just a third of what it can do. Yeah, give me that hazy flame support, by the way. That's just a third. He's talking about some they're going to cook. They're going to cook with this hazy flame. Bike or bike equivalent monsters and ride into battle with a new strategy that excels at exceed summoning. Get on your bike equivalent monster. Return from the divine temple of the snake eye with a mysterious snake eye monster in tow. Oh no! The basic goblin bikers are level three monsters that can special summon themselves in a flash by detaching an exceed combos from an exceed monster. Ooh, nice combos. Ooh, your opponents. I, f I don't know this guy's name. I like this guy. We are, we're in sync. We're in sync. <laughs> Let's go. Diabelle Star and get their hands on her snake eye charge. Oh, my God. Or will they severely regret their life choice? Wait. Is she choking? Wait. Is she choking that? Is she choking that thing? What's going on here? Is that a her arm? I can't tell. I can't tell if she's grabbing her by the. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. She's grabbing her by the back of her head. And she's like got her like flipped behind her. That's crazy. That's got to hurt like shit. <laughs> You'll just have to wait and see. Uh, OK. Players who attend the Phantom Nightmare Core Booster premiere event. Ooh. Actually, when is the premiere event? I would like to go to that. I'm going to have to look that up. All right, I'm about to check it out real quick. The Phantom Nightmare premiere event. Ooh, February third. Thank you, Dulles GPT. In Phantom Nightmare, you'll come face to face with Vados, the eruption dragon of extinction. A monster whose power can destroy the cycle of life and death itself. Damn. Monsters... Damn. Don't just, don't hit me with something. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> you boy, you hold on. You got to say it to me one more time. That was, that was crazy. You laid that on thick. Konami, y'all know what y'all doing. You'll come face to face with Vados, the eruption dragon of extinction. A monster whose power can destroy the cycle of life okay not even gonna lie on that intro alone i am hyped to play that deck okay now i'm gonna be real with you am i hundred dollar hype not at all not at all not at all don't get no pre-orders for that card i don't care how strong it is but if it say something like you know synergize well with the valance deck well <laughs> <laughs> of Obsidine could not save their home from the might of Vados and were reduced to ash along with their city. The destructive power of Vados was so great that their very souls were burned into the remains of the city itself. Damn. And now they relive their struggle against Vados for all eternity. Okay. Keeping up I take back my voiceless voice comment. Damn, I take it back. I take back my voiceless voice comment. Oh, wait, are you the voiceless voice? Who is these people? Who are you? Oh! Oh, they're the Ashens. Oh, well, that makes sense. Because they were, like, literally burnt to ashes. <laughs> okay, let's go. More returning themes. What's coming back? Sale. Phantom Nightmare brings back a lot of old favorites as well, covering a wide variety of summoning techniques and tactics. Raid Raptors 
soar to even greater heights with a rank 13 exceed what damn the aroma strategy branches out into fusion well, stinking up the field Wait. <laughs> okay. See now. Okay. See, I'm gonna have to just. Okay. Now this is where we get personal. All right. So I don't know what this card does, but he's got me real hype about this. I actually have a Magic Specter Valence deck that I have not played yet. I uh, built it over this i built honestly i feel like right now at this stage i feel like i am goku somebody actually made a comment about this and now it's funny i'm saying something about this right now i feel like i'm goku in that healing pod <laughs> i feel like i've just woken up and i'm like i'm i'm healed and i got all these powers because i actually got this magic specter valence built is dope i really like the magic specter valence build but he's saying that this is a magic specter monster that does exceed links and pendulum at the same time that's literally my magic specter valence build so i'm super excited about this so phantom nightmare premiere event february 3rd thank you duelist gpt let's go and new goki monsters make synchro summoning even easier space fish Show me. You can find Ooh, wait, hold on. Wait a minute. Could could this be? Could the Hazy Flame actually be coming forth? I did not know that they were putting the Promethean Princess in this pack. I knew Promethean Princess wasn't out, but I didn't know they were putting them in this pack. And it says EP Mew Mine. What this dude says. If a Link monster is on the field or in the graveyard, you can special summon this card. Ooh. Wow, from the hand. Okay, that, that starts good. I like that sentence. I like that. I like how it started off. You can special summon EP Meowing Mew once per turn this way. Uh, if a Link to monster you control is sent to the graveyard, you can banish face up. Wait. If a Link to monster you control is sent to the graveyard or banished face up. Oh, so basically if you use SP Little Knight... Value. <laughs> ah, yes, let the price go up. <laughs> you can't you can't make this shit up. Come on, man. Let me see. What else did this thing do? It basically, okay, the first thing it says is special summon this card for free. The second thing it says, <laughs> if you use the $100 card, bonus effect. <laughs> Damn. So it's a, it's a body, and it can hit a card. With SP's effect, that's like, that's like three. That's like three cards with just the EP, EM, EMP, and SP. I'm sure there's something with that. I I just can't. I I can't think of anything. <laughs> Monster, or finally add Promethean Princess, the Solar Flames to your real life dueling deck. Whatever you're in the mood for. He literally just said what I said. He said you're gonna put it in that real knife deck. Man, you better come with some fire. This that last guy laid it out. Billy, come on. Be sure to visit your local OTS. Oh! See, look, I already sniped you. I already sniped you with the Dilly's <laughs> GPT. Stay tuned as this week continues for videos from your favorite content creator exploring the strategies hmm. and themes in Phantom Nightmare. What kind of content? Showing preview right now. <laughs> we'll be releasing a bonus segment tomorrow exploring the mechanics of this brand new theme. Finally, we cap off the week with content creator pack opening. I'm sure you will be full. <laughs> I don't know why that was just so funny to me, but I think that's enough of that for now. Uh, he did mention that there was going to be 
um, a second video talking about the Ashy deck. So we definitely want to see that, but it looks like that's not out yet. So, uh, yeah, that's going to conclude, uh, the show for today. My boys, uh, consider this a beta. If you really like it, like it. If you don't hit the dislike button. And if you, and if you really didn't like it, leave me a comment. And if you really liked it, you know, leave me a comment too, you know, basically interact with the video, regardless of how you feel. <laughs> If you're going to pay $100 for Bonfire, then guess what? Interact with the video. <laughs> I'll catch y'all in the next one.